Now, the terror hostage situation in Pakistan's one of the Pakistan-Afghan border has turned ugly. Reports say one of the terrorists holding interrogators hostage has shot dead two cops. Many others have been injured here after one terrorist snatched an AK-47 rifle opened fire inside the police station. Fifteen terrorists in all are set to be inside the counter-terrorism detention center where they are holding interrogations and interrogators hostage. It is still not clear if any group has taken responsibility. Earlier in the day, the terrorists took hostages in order to negotiate with the government authorities. The terrorists who called themselves Fidayin were under interrogation when they reportedly overpowered the police here. Initial reports suggest that there was no outside intervention. The terrorists want to broker a settlement for safe passage to neighboring Afghanistan, which is currently under the rule of the Taliban administration. The terrorist counter-attack began with four terrorists attacking the Burgi police station in Laki Marwat, which is another city in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province. A few hours later, four policemen were killed in this attack, taking to Twitter. Mohsin Dwar, who is the member of the National Assembly of Pakistan, said that there is a war underway in Pakhtunkhwa. Two police stations have been attacked in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa in the last 24 hours, first in Laki Marwat district, where four police officers were killed. Hours later in Banu city, where two police cops have been killed as well. Police suspect the band Tehri ke Taliban Pakistan as the group behind this situation. For more on this now, we're being joined by Martin Heather, senior political analyst from Islamabad. Thank you so much for joining us on this uh, broadcast. Now, Mr. Heather, how do you assess the situation in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa? And as per, as I mentioned, as per Mohsin Dwar, member of the National Assembly of Pakistan, there's a war underway in Pakhtunkhwa. Uh, well, uh, as far as situation in KPK is uh, concerned, it is, uh, it is officially confirmed that uh, there have been a number of suicide attacks, terrorist attacks uh, on police and security forces. One in the formal tribal areas of Pakistan, that is South and North Waziristan. Almost uh, every second day, there is uh, some encounter of security forces with the militants. But this one, uh, particularly in uh, Lucky Mawath, and latest one now in Bannu, at the counter-terrorism department is uh, very, very alarming. Right. So far, officially, no details have been shared, but uh, information has come unofficially through police sources, through uh, CTTD. But uh, one of the key officials of KPK government, uh, Barrister Seb, who is a PTI leader, he has confirmed this particular incident and uh, said currently uh, there is uh, uh, the CTD uh, center is closed. The closed means that it is surrounded by security forces. And initially, it is confirmed that two security officials uh, got injured. Hmm. And operation, as far as operation uh, details are concerned, no details have been uh, shared yet. But behind the scene, uh, some negotiations are on to not only defuse the situation but to end this. But uh, this is uh, a very, very se serious security lapse on the right. part of the KPK government because CTD comes under the provincial government. It is counter-terrorism department. And the moment militants attacked, they wanted immediate release of some of their comrades who were detained in that particular center. KPK is under attack uh, because uh, of uh, uh, TTP. TTPs of the bases are... Uh, uh, located along with Pakistan Afghanistan borders and right. Tariqa Taliban Pakistan has already made it clear that now they are open uh, of uh, fighting and war with Pakistan. So these all attacks are part of uh, TTP, but this CTDD has not been confirmed by any oh. particular group. Right. Now, of course, in fact, I was just going to come to this. Do you see this as a renewed challenge and a sign of the strained ties between Pakistan and Afghanistan, seeing as to how the terrorists, as you mentioned earlier, are trying to negotiate safe passage to Afghanistan with the authorities here? Uh, yes, one, it is uh, indeed a big uh, security challenge for, uh, for Pakistan, for KPK government, and indeed uh, uh, for Pakistani government. And initial reports suggest that Pakistan army troops are also over there. Entire Bannu cantonment has been cordoned off. As far as this particular thing, this may not be accepted by the Pakistani authorities that the militants be given a safe passage and be taken on a helicopter to neighboring Afghanistan. This is absolutely ruled out. Pakistani security forces are known for their uh, best capability and skills for counter-terrorism operations. We hope so hmm. that with the passage of time, uh, the security forces will overcome these militants and this uh, particular possibility that they will be given a safe passage on helicopter uh, to that uh, neighboring country 
that is absolutely no possibility but security mm. forces will try to manage the secure release of some of those security people who have been held hostage so right now no details in the in the in the time to come most probably the kpk government will try to share some more details at what is the latest situation at counter terrorism department police station in banno right uh, mr mathin heather thank you so much for joining us with all your insights on this Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.